What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat, and this is your breakdown for Rey Mysterio Rafael. Uh, TMNT crossover right here, your S-tier powerhouse to go along with the red bandana. Lincoln gear, TMNT, any color moves that deal damage will deal 75% more damage, which is huge because the turtles are mostly move damage based, or at least they all have something with that. Coaching ability is insane. Power gems generated will add 200% more damage on each attack. Yes, you're going to see videos like crazy with that ability, and it pairs so nicely with the new Michelangelo as well. Crazy, crazy, crazy. He's a new gen era powerhouse chaotic. Thank you for not making him a an aggressive. Uh, I very much appreciate that. And he's got a few different movesets. Uh, let's take a look at one to get us started here, which looks like this right here, triple purple. First of all, 6 MP sewer line 619, deal 1.2 million damage, increase your purple MP by 5. The Wicked Whirlpool, 6 MP purple, deal damage 700k plus, and increase your purple move damage by 142% for one turn. And then 6 MP Ninja Reflexes, deal damage and increase your move dodge chance by 50% for one turn. And hardcore, if your opponent's style is focused, first deal of 1.47 million more damage, and then increase your move dodge chance by 50% for one turn. So that's a very specific category to have to think about. Are, am I going up against a focused character? Not just like against any powerhouse or any trickster. Like, yeah, that's that takes some thinking. Ironically, we are going to face a focused because that's what Zombie Sammy is, but... Anyways, uh, so here's how we're going to run the trainers. You need Purple Woods, the other Purple Woods now, to get started loaded turn 1 with 4 MP. You also need KO for at least one more of these Purple MP. This will get you loaded all the way, plus Purple Moves do 100% more damage. Powerhouse Cody, the new S plus tier. Purple moves deal 40% more damage. And then the Hall of Fame statue of Trish, purple moves deal 40% more damage again. If you don't have Powerhouse Cody, uh, there's a couple people, although Jade is one of them, and Jade Cargill, she's super rare too, that would get you 30% purple move damage. So now you're doing uh, 3.4 million there, uh, you know, 20 million there. Four, one more, I don't know, we'll see. It. We'll, there's, there's a lot, a lot of damage. On the strap, you're going to want your move damage strap. I've got a 50% on there. Double takedown two and 200% purple move damage. There is not any plate that I would recommend in this exact moment that would work super, super well with this, but there may or may not be some plates coming out soon, and we'll have to see if that uh, that changes the story at all. I don't know. I, I have no inside info here. I'm just guessing. Just guessing. I love, I love his animations. It's super fun. Super fun. I know I said I would rather that uh, Rey Mysterio be Leonardo as opposed to Raphael, but still. Like, Raphael's not a hothead. I mean, I'm, Rey Mysterio's not a hothead like Raphael is, but they did a great job with this, and I love the sigh right down there. Love the outfit. Oh, just so good all the way around. Uh, so in order to start loaded with all of these, you know, you will have to, you know, run them. It would be super nice if this were a 5 MP because then you could at least load it one more time, but you can't, so it is what it is. So you got your 7 million, 4 million, and uh, 3 million is all we got here, right? Right. So 7.2 million hit here. Bam. There we go. Then you've got a 4 million and increase your purple move dam damage. I should have done that backwards, in fact. I, I'll redo that real quick because I should have hit the other one first, then the increase. Because now this one's doing 7.6 million. Yeah, let me... Although it is going to hit him twice, 21 million. <laughs> but I got nothing on the board here, so I'll take a swipe. That's the one disadvantage I don't like is there's nothing that actually 
hits. So let me just quit out and I'll go back and try it one more time the right way. Uh, but there's nothing that actually like breaks the whole board or breaks any gems, to be quite honest, actually. So that is, I think, a little bit of a miss. That that dodge move is, eh, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It certainly helps against this guy because he's focused. So if you remember to go up against a focused character, then yeah, you're going to do some serious damage to him. But how many times am I going to remember that I've got to go in against focus, especially if I'm trying to speed feud? Probably not going to happen. Anyways, all right, so start by hitting the buff. That's going to do 4 million. Love the animation. Love the colors. So good. Now this does 17 million. This does 7 million. So let's hit that one. Bam. Plus it hit for 21 million uh, on a, in addition to that because he's focused. Then we're going to hit for 17 million. So literally clears exactly 50-ish million. Right at 50 million. But see, nothing gets loaded. It's already loaded for turn two. But you got to get lucky on a, on a swipe here that's going to break the whole board. Because otherwise, you could have his health completely down. And what you're going to see in just a moment, he's going to sub me, right? So this... This doesn't matter anymore. He's already dead. None of this moves the board at all. The only thing that would, this would do is increase my move dodge by 50%. So I can do that, and he's going to dodge the move. But will that dodge the sub? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yep. See, it, now it's just going to... Boop. There we go. Dodged. Is he going to dodge the sub? I uh, guess it doesn't matter. guess it doesn't matter. That's the one piece. Right at the end, it kind of peters out. I do love that. The bow. I love that move. Love it. Uh, all right, so that's one move. About 50 million if you're going up against a focused uh, class, subclass, category, whatever it is. Uh, but I just don't love the way it doesn't break any gems. Doesn't get you to the pin. So let's check something else out instead. The next move set is very similar. In fact, all of his movesets are weird and similar, I guess, like this. But uh, the Terrapin Spin, 6 MP red, deal 586k damage, move damage. Choose a 3 by one area to swap into two-turn Juggernaut Gems that will increase your red MP by 2 on every countdown and increase your red move damage by 78% at the end of the countdown. So that's how you... Reload. Uh, Ninja Grit, deal similar damage and increase your move dodge chance by 50% for one turn. Hardcore, if the opponent's style is defensive, first deal damage, then increase your move dodge chance by 50%. So this is very much similar to the last one, except for instead of focused, now you have to find defensive people and do triple red. Uh, we're not going to see a defensive, so we're going to lose that 20 million hit, give or take, right there. And then the Kawabunga finisher, deal damage. 2 million damage and force your opponent to skip their turn for one turn. Uh, so at least this one finishes them. It's that's the nice part about it. Um, I yeah I don't like this. I, I wish this was a combination of the purple the way it was with the finisher. I think I would have liked him better that way. I don't care for this so much. But uh, red moves start with four more MP with one of your, you've got multiple choices there. And then Finn Balor, he was given away for free if you played during uh, that month, and so you should have him if you played. Red moves that deal damage 100% more, and red moves start with two more MP. Snoop, who has been a fairly common pull in the six-star gold loots, uh, the ones that you get for playing the month, so many people do have him now that didn't have him before. Our red moves deal 40%. And Miz, who was your A-tier chase a couple months ago for red moves that deal damage, do 40% more damage. On the strap, the only thing we've changed out is the red gem, red move 200% metal right there. And I know what you're thinking, but no, it doesn't work. The NWO basic lo or tested loyalty plate, whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red move damage by 75%. We're not breaking any red gems with this. Uh, in fact, we're still not touching the gem board with these moves at all. So let's go up against Sammy. Again, he's not defensive, so you're not going to see that extra hit on there. Uh, but you can still see what little Ray Ray Raphael does. So, 
Theoretically, these two are gonna be loaded. This one would not be loaded turn one. I may use it in a moment if I have to block the uh, the sub, just, just because. So we've got that. Turn a three by one area into Juggernaut Gems, which means, again, you cannot buff this with Seth or Goldberg. It doesn't work. It already creates that set. And then you can do this to dodge. Hopefully increase your dodge percentage, but I like that. But he's not going to get the extra bonus damage. So then you'd have to hope that you have a red match, which we don't anywhere. Which means he's going to get a turn. Which means this is now going to buff all of our moves. So now we can throw these down. There we go. We can hit this again, but look, he's not even hit 10 million damage yet, and we've cycled now twice on those moves. Not even 10 million damage. Now it's a little over 10 million damage. So this is the big WAP, which is not a very big WAP. Not a very big WAP at all. He is stunned, however. 10 million. Theoretically now, he's stunned. We get our stuff back. We put this down. Now it's buffed our move damage again, so that was a bit more of a whop there. It was what, 11 million that time? Yeah, and this is 10 million. So, I mean, it's effective. You're freezing them. So theoretically before we did 50 million in one turn. Now we're doing not quite 50 million in one cycle, which is not the same. But at least you do get to finish him and you get to sub him. And he's hopefully going to miss with that move. Yeah. Now we reload. Now everything kind of hits at once. And now this is doing 40 million. Now we see the effect of it. But look how long it took us to get there. That was a long stretch. So he is good. He's just very slow. And he does have eventually a high move damage. Because that would have hit 60 million. Uh, you know, 10 plus 10 plus the 40, but it took us three, four turns to get there. You've got a lot better powerhouses that can get the job done more quickly. Let me check out one more move set with you, and then we'll give a verdict on this this character now, this Raphael character. The last move set is the one I would say I like the best, but I will admit I still don't like it. Uh, it's the Mean Green Machine, 6 MP green, deal damage and choose a 3 by one area to make into 2 turn Juggernaut Gems that will increase the damage of all your gems by 116% for 1 turn on every countdown and then increase your green MP by 2 at the end of the countdown. Then the Surf's Up, 6 MP green sub, generate 39 random submission gems, doing 862k damage for four turns. Now that is fairly stout for what subs are. Still doesn't quite, you know, end them turn, you know, cycle one, but it's good for a sub. And then the remaining turn into cross break gems. So you've got gem damage buff on cross break gems that are going to break the board. A lot of them should break the board because there should be a lot of them left. Uh, and then you've got the sub damage. But you don't really have anything else that connects. None of the rest of the moves make sense, except for just the Kawabunga, which deals a decent amount of damage and forces their opponent to skip the turn. Uh, it doesn't really connect to anything else, but you know when you do the cross break, theoretically you fill up the red move, and you can do that just to get the extra damage on them. But these two are pretty self-refilling uh, of themselves, or in and of themselves. On the Entourage, you're going to do George Steele for four green MP. And then either William Regal gets super rare. You could also do Heavy Metal Rhea, who's a lot less rare. William Regal is two green MP and green subs do 100% more damage. Rhea is two more green MP and subs go for two turns longer. So either one is going to be fine. It's just a matter of... You know, do you prefer it? I would prefer Regal because I want to leave as many crossbreak gems on the board as possible. And then we're going to use Logan Paul for any color subs last one more turn and do 50% more. 
and uh, Bruno San Martino for green subs do 50% more and last one more turn. So we're doing six turns at 2.5 million. Still not super huge. We will run this back with gem damage, crossbreak gem damage in particular, and show you what that looks like. Uh, but for now, we're going to kind of keep it like this. And then I'll swap out the strap on the next one as well. Uh, this is a move damage strap. I'll show you what it looks like with the crossbreak. Well, actually, I think I, I've got the one from Seth still loaded. I do. Look at that. All right, never mind. Look at this. We're just going to swap over to to this one here. And then we do have the Seamus Crown. Whenever you make four or more cross breaks, increase your red gym damage by 150%. You could have, since it's a sub, uh, do any of the sub plates that would, let's see, like this one right here. It's going to be, that's yellow and black. Um, let's see, it's not all heart, is it? I think it's going to be the gremlin's ears. Yeah, we would do the gremlin's ears plate instead because uh, then that would be do your sub and increase your red gem plus your blue gem damage and you're going to break a lot more of it. Uh, on this right here, you've got, that's countdown, not juggernaut. Um, yeah, there's not really anything in particular that I'm thinking of. Yeah, anyway, we'll leave that alone for right now. I'm going to run it this way first because I'm focused mainly on the sub damage, and then I'll run it back with the gem damage right after that. Yes, I know my health is low. Except for it's like barely low. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, game? Willis. All right. Before 99 MP, you're definitely not getting the finisher loaded turn one. So you're going to throw down a 3 by one area into green. There's your six or West Coast Pop. Except for it's called the Sewer Splash, right? Mean Green Machine. That's a vanilla ice lyric. Now you're going to put all these down, which should fill up all but like two or three gems left. Six turns uh, still, which is a lot. So you're not leaving as many crossbreak gems. In fact, you're barely leaving crossbreak gems. I don't like that. Actually... If I could, I might reduce the sub instead. Uh, now our green, our, all of our gem damage is buffed. So like our red gems are doing 345k. That's doing 345k. The big risk there, though is you're going to screw up and destroy your juggernaut gems. So yeah, you destroy your juggernaut gems. <laughs> and it's still not a whole lot of damage. Not a lot of damage. But it is what it is, right? So... Uh, now you just do it again, and you just keep doing it. You're not going to lose. It's just real slow. Uh, he just doesn't have a move set that I'm super excited about, to be quite honest. Um, there's nothing super powerful, but all of them are solid. Like, all of them are going to get the job done. I'm just not... He's not one that I'm going to really use as an extreme fighter. UFC style. This is a little better. There we go. Now, theoretically, we've buffed, but see, we've only buffed for one turn. So I was going to say we could, uh, you know, hit the finisher and then that wouldn't mess us up, but it's not going to anyway. So buff by two green. So I guess we're not really actually losing anything. If we can find a swipe, there we go. But yeah, you blow up your countdown gems every time. And it's still only 12 million. I mean, we beat them in two cycles. So don't hear me say that this is bad. It's just not great. It's just not great at all. I love the character art, but man, his coaching ability is the thing. Like, the thing that we are going for here. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, let me put the gremlin's ears on him and some gem damage uh, and see what he does. Otherwise, I think that's about it. All right, same moveset, slight variation on trainers. We've got George Steele for 4 MP, and then we've got uh, Powerhouse Bianca, the Legends era version. Crossbreak gems do 75% more damage. Green moves start with two more. She is uh, just built for this guy, it seems like. And Rock and Roman. Then you've got the other guy built for this guy. Green gems do 30% more damage. Crossbreak gems do 60% more damage with the other Purple Woods. Now we're going to have to start clarifying, because we've got multiple 
of those. And then you could do Andre here for cross breaks to 100%. I'm gonna use Ozzy, because the cross breaks are only gonna sit on the specific gem that they're on. This gives me 30% green or blue 30% as well. Again, you could, you could certainly run a cross break guy right there, see if it gives you a little bit more damage. And then on the plate, uh, we are doing the Gremlin's Ears. So whenever you generate three or more sub gems, increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. So this is 50% uh, gem damage strap, double fury twos, and your wonderful 35% all gem damage metal. This is his best shot at gem damage. Best shot at gem damage. Keep in mind the turtles link is all move damage, and that's kind of the way they, they're building these guys. Uh, if you pay pay attention to what they're incentivizing, you, you tend to find the best way. But Still, see what some jam damage does here. So same process, we're hitting this. This time the sub's only four turns, so hopefully he doesn't break near as many of them. Still would consider, even instead of Ozzy, maybe reducing the sub turns by two again, because that would leave you a lot more on the board. But we do have a lot more on there this time, if he doesn't screw that up. All right, so we've got our boost. Uh, green gems now are doing 290. Power gems red are doing 5, uh, 510 or 501. Cross break on red is 710. And I don't have any cross break on green, so I can't see that. Then we just make a swipe and let's see what this does for us. That is 21 million at 41 million gold. So that's not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely not super high S tier, but it's, it's not bad. So yeah, uh, that's all I've got for Rafael Rey Mysterio here. Um, I would say one of the best coaches you could possibly get right now in the current meta. That's going to make so many Power Gym users just hit extra, extra hard. But beyond that, I'm really not a fan of his gameplay style. It's not bad, it's just not for me. Let me just say it that way. It's just not for me. 40 million on a top end hit there. Move damage that either can't pin or does pin but doesn't hit hard uh, unless you get to six turn, five turns. Um, so yeah, he's not my favorite, but man is he an amazing coach and I love the artwork. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Like this video, subscribe to Champions Chat, and then send this over to your friend or faction mate who's going, hey, uh, I got that new Ninja Turtle, Raphael. How do I run him? Here's how. See you on the next one. Bye.